All right, welcome back to another video. So having been a product manager at companies like Yelp and eBay, one of the questions I get asked the most is how do I become a product manager if I have no experience? And lucky for you, I did it back in 2013 when I was coming out of college and I had no experience. And since then, I've been seeing people as they break in a product over these past seven years. For me, I was super lucky to get hired by eBay right out of college and I became a product manager for a small product at eBay, but gradually took on more responsibility and eventually worked on the identity experience domain. So that's like registration, sign in, profile page at eBay. Anyway, that's enough about me. Let's get started and start talking about the four best paths for you to break into product management. Let's cue that intro. All right, route number one is the APM route, and that stands for Associate Product Manager. These are roles that are specifically targeted for people with little to no experience, so maybe that's you. This is actually the route that I took when I got that first PM job at eBay. There's a couple companies that are kind of known for hiring university grads, so that's like Google, Facebook, Yelp, Dropbox are the ones that come to mind, but if you just Google Associate Product Manager, you'll probably be able to find them. The pro is that these are obviously positions that are targeted for entry level people and for you know people that are going to be learning on the job. But the con is that these are actually also really competitive, so you'll have to make sure that your resume is top notch and you have some good internships or side projects. All right, route number two is the entrepreneur route. This is a route that I actually like better and a lot of product manager hiring managers like to hire entrepreneurs into product positions because it shows you a lot of really useful skills that are useful for product managers. It'll show you're creative and you can work in open-ended space. It shows you take initiative and you know that's really important to being a PM. It'll show you're flexible, you're willing to wear many hats and that you have grit and you can persevere through really tough challenges. So if you've ever had your own app idea, taking the initiative to build it or assembling a team around it can be a really good first step in becoming a product manager. There's a huge amount of overlap between what a product manager does and what an entrepreneur does. So if you're able to actually build a product around this, it's kind of like building a product manager position for yourself. And there's companies like Facebook that are known for hiring more entrepreneurial candidates, people that have done startups in the past into product manager positions. So that might be something that's interesting for you. All right, route number three is the software engineering route. A lot of product managers have been software engineers at some point in their career, and this has its own advantages. First, you'd be inside of a tech company and be building your network. And not just at that company, but you'll be able to meet people from other companies, and even from your company, people might be leaving for other companies eventually. And as a software engineer, you'd be working with a product manager almost every day, so be able to see what that job is like from the outside before you even commit to it, which might be really nice if you're not really sure if product management is right for you yet. And having the skills of a software engineer is also really useful if you're gonna be a product manager in the long run because most PMs lead a team of engineers and it's obviously easier to lead a team if you know what the details of that job is gonna be like. What's even better is if you're a software engineer for a team first and then later become a product manager for that same team because you'd have a lot of credibility with the team that you're gonna be leading and then also you'll have a lot of strong relationships with the people that you might have to influence as a PM. And I have a whole video on if product managers need to know how to code, so I recommend checking that out if that's something that's interesting to you. All right, round number four is the MBA route. Going back to school for an MBA is actually another really good way to prep yourself for a product management role. Not only will the skills you study be really useful when you're on the job as a product manager, but you'll also build a really great network when you're doing an MBA. The business skills you'll get from doing an MBA will be about management, pricing, marketing, analytics, research, all things that'll be really useful and you can apply directly when on the job as a product manager. And I definitely know product managers at top tech companies that came from this route. This is an expensive option of course, but it can really give your resume a boost, especially if you're applying to companies like Amazon that are known for hiring more business oriented PMs. All right, one bonus tip before I end the video is that no matter which route you're planning on taking, I recommend working on some side projects. Don't worry about trying to make the next Facebook or TikTok or whatever, but just work on something that you have a passion for yourself. So if you have an interest in photography or fitness or food or whatever that is, just work on a few things in that area if you've identified a couple of problems in that area and that'll make you really stand out when you're applying for jobs as a PM. Next week, I'm gonna be posting a video on how to know you'll like being in product management before you're actually a product manager. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video. If you're looking for a good list of roles in tech that'll allow you to easily transfer into product management, you can click the video right here. Or if you're ready to apply and you just want some resume tips, you can click the video right here. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Leave any questions in the comment section down below and I'll see you next time.